Deep within the shadowed caverns of the Stygian Abyss dwells Medusa, a creature born of ancient nightmares, steeped in dark magic that has immortalized her name in tales of horror. Her hair writhes with living serpents, each movement a reminder of her lethal gaze that can turn even the mightiest warriors to stone. In Ultima Online, Medusa ranks among the deadliest adversaries, wielding a petrifying stare that chills the bravest souls and a twisted power to summon near-perfect duplicates of her foes. These duplicates wreak havoc on the battlefield, as allies and pets suddenly turn upon each other, plunging the fight into chaos and adding a relentless layer of danger to the struggle against her. Entering Medusa's lair requires four rare serpent eggs, which must be placed on an altar. These elusive eggs can be gathered from serpent nests near the lair's entrance, either by double-clicking the nests to collect directly, or by using a snake charmer's flute, crafted by carpenters, to prompt the local snakes to search for them. A good strategy is to hide near the nests and charm the snakes one at a time, allowing for safer, undetected collection. Often, the nest will either collapse or reveal more snakes, but with persistence, the eggs will eventually appear. Nests typically spawn near the bridge, along the northern mountain, or on the riverbed. If no nests are visible, try killing all the snakes, but be cautious of the hydra that roams this area. Surviving Medusa's petrifying gaze requires careful preparation, specifically applying gorgon lenses to armor, starting with headgear. Crafted by tinkers, these lenses require crystal dust, a material refined by alchemists from rare crystal fragments found in the prism of light dungeon, particularly from creatures like crystal lattice seekers. Complete protection can only be achieved with Medusa's own scales, harvested while she's alive, whereas lesser lenses, crafted from dragon scales or her scales obtained post-battle, offer partial protection. I use these lesser gorgon lenses with dragon scales, consuming around 10 in total, while I manage to harvest a maximum of 15 Medusa scales during combat. Those who overcome her earn prizes worthy of their bravery. A rare statue of her, Medusa Blood, used to create pet resurrecting potions, and potential artifacts such as the coveted Slither Talisman, await those who face her and live to tell the tale. With my current build, I swapped out necromancy with Bushido while retaining healing. This change sacrifices some perks of vampiric embrace, such as life leech, but gains the numerous advantages of Bushido, especially the increased damage output. In Ultima Online, Bushido embodies the essence of the samurai, a path of honor, precision, and discipline in battle. This skill is complemented by the Book of Bushido, which can be purchased from Takuno Island's scribe NPCs, or obtained from defeated Ronin. With it, Samurai can perform various abilities that focus primarily on defense, but can also turn the tide against formidable foes. Bushido grants passive benefits, particularly through its synergy with the parrying skill, allowing Samurai to block attacks with weapons. This art also provides access to evasion, enabling them to entirely avoid direct spell damage. One of the most powerful abilities, however, is perfection. To activate this, a samurai must honor a creature by invoking the virtue and selecting their target before it is damaged. Each successful strike against this target increases their perfection level, enhancing their damage output with a maximum bonus of 100% at the highest level. Utilizing equipment with a hit chance increase bonus or using the lightning strike ability is crucial for maximizing damage and maintaining high perfection. Additionally, if a samurai defeats their target while at peak perfection, they regain hit points, stamina, and mana, making them even more formidable in combat. Their effective luck level also receives a boost based on their perfection score, providing further incentives for skillful play. However, once the honored creature is slain, all perfection is lost, requiring the samurai to start anew with their next target. Bushido also amplifies the Whirlwind special move, adding a damage bonus when surrounded by multiple enemies. This bonus caps at 100 extra damage and depends on the Bushido skill level and number of surrounding foes. For instance, a samurai with 120 Bushido achieves the max damage bonus with only 5 enemies nearby. Weapons such as the Double Axe and the Radiant Scimitar feature this powerful special move. Confidence is a defensive Bushido technique that serves as another layer of healing, 
boosting both stamina and hit point regeneration for a brief period. When activated, it raises regeneration rates for 4 seconds, but this effect is interrupted if the user takes a hit during that time. Additionally, each successful parry restores stamina and heals hit points, scaling with Bushido skill level. It's ideal to have a high level of Bushido to maximize the benefits of these moves. Additionally, at higher skill levels, Bushido can be used instead of animal taming to control and ride lesser Hirius. In summary, Bushido is a skill that rewards commitment and offers a range of techniques that enhance samurai combat effectiveness. With the ability to evade spells, control powerful mounts, and unleash devastating attacks through perfection, those who dedicate themselves to mastering Bushido embody the true spirit of the samurai, wielding their abilities with honor and precision. One of the more significant decisions players face when building their melee characters is whether to wield a two-handed weapon or opt for a one-handed weapon paired with a shield or keep a hand free for easy potion use. This choice affects not only the mechanics of combat but also the overall playstyle and effectiveness of the character. Two-handed weapons are known for their superior damage per hit, often boasting higher base damage values and stronger special abilities, such as Whirlwind Attack or Crushing Blow. This makes them highly appealing to players looking to maximize their offensive potential, especially in scenarios where raw damage is crucial, like boss fights or PvP encounters. However, this comes at a significant cost. The most obvious disadvantage of wielding a two-handed weapon is the inability to carry a shield or use a free hand for other purposes. Shields provide crucial defensive bonuses, including an increased chance to parry and additional resistances. In a game where survival and sustained damage are essential, the loss of a shield can leave the player more vulnerable to incoming attacks, especially when facing multiple opponents or high damage enemies. Additionally, a free hand allows for convenient access to potions, a vital lifeline in intense combat situations. Healing, refresh, stamina restoring, and cure, poison countering potions can be used instantly with a one-handed weapon, providing critical support during battle. The inability to quickly access consumables with a two-handed weapon forces players to rely on spells or other healing methods, which may not be as instantaneous or reliable in all situations. When it comes to swing speed, a key difference between two-handed and one-handed weapons is that the higher damage two-handed weapons tend to swing slower. To reach the fastest possible swing rate, capped at 1.25 seconds per swing, Players must compensate for the slower speed of two-handed weapons by increasing swing speed increase SSI and enhancing dexterity or stamina. For instance, a double axe requires 20% SSI plus 180 stamina to swing at the 1.25 second rate. While reaching this cap with heavier two-handed weapons can be challenging, it enables players to maintain high burst damage potential, especially with area of effect special moves like Whirlwind Attack. In contrast, one-handed weapons are often faster by default, benefiting players who prioritize consistent, rapid attacks without requiring as much SSI or dexterity gear to reach maximum swing speed. For example, a katana only requires 150 stamina to achieve its fastest possible speed. This distinction is crucial when building for sustained DPS or optimizing for particular combat scenarios as swing speed affects not only DPS but also the timing of special moves and critical abilities in battle. 